Hello everybody, hope you're all doing well. So hopefully just a quick video here today. Um, if you're watching this, I assume you're already more than aware that the VWi on the, your Wii U comes with these three channels by default. We got the Wii U menu channel that if you launch it, it just restarts the console and so it loads back into the Wii U menu side of things. We have the Wii system transfer, where you would use this if you want to transfer all your game data and stuff from your Wii to the Wii U. And then a Wii menu, electronic manual. It's basically just a, a manual about the Wii side of the console, because if you got a Wii U and not a Wii, then you don't actually have this by default. Now, this, <laughs> this channel is relatively useful, but... These channels have been on my console for the last 12, 13 years and have just com been completely redundant. I've never done a Wii system transfer before and never intend to. And I've never needed to use this because quite frankly, it's quite self-explanatory. Um, however, while I was testing out some of other mods on my Wii U, um, I've figured out a way just by playing around with a few homebrew apps how to actually remove these channels if you want to. Well, that goes for any channels here um, for that matter. And so I thought I'd do a quick recording just to talk about how I did that. Now, uh, full disclaimer, I am not a modder by any means. I just follow video tutorials and guides where and when I can. So if this isn't the best way of doing this or if there is literally like a homebrew app that you just click on once and it just removes these for you. Just any way that's easier or safer, um, please do let me know. Uh, this is, again, is just something that I did while messing around and I thought it'd be kind of worth documenting just in case someone else doesn't want these. And from a little quick Google search, I couldn't find another way to do this. So um, yeah, I will show off how I figured out how to do this. Okay, so first things first, you can actually find the two homebrew apps from the description of this video. So if this is something that interests you at all, then I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Um, but for the first six minutes is basically what I follow for this app. So yet another blue dump mod. Uh, we'll go down until we see the zip file download, which is quite the ways down it seems here and then we can just download the file uh, i've already got it so it's given me another one and then we've got yom mod me edition which is just how you install and uninstall wad files on the wii or vwi so i'll just download that here it is and you see it has an apps folder and all you need to do is go in here and then this file you want to pull onto the all your, your apps folder where you basically have all your homebrew apps. So that could just be dragged and dropped into here. Same with another blue dump. We go into the apps folder, yet another blue dump mod, and then that can go in the apps folder on the root of your SD card as well. So now that's all set up, I will switch over to the Wii U. Okay, so here we are in the Homebrew channel, and the first app we need to go to is yet another Blue Dump mod. So we will load that up. It will, we've got to press A to access the hardware. It'll take a little bit of time. Okay, so we currently only have an SD card and no um, external USB drive, so it just loaded straight in here. Uh, but now we have access to the system menu, and if we go into any of these, we can see all of the WAD files for the system. And where we want to go is the system channel titles. And when we go into here, this is all of the default channels that we have on here. This has the photo channel, and oh, I thought the internet channel would be here. I guess it's on one of the other things. This has the photo channel on it because I installed it as a WAD, but all of the rest here are just default channels and as you can see this is where we get our first wad so we select the one that we want and then press one and then we scroll until we see backup to wad and then press a it says do you want to fake sign the ticket i press a do you want to fake sign the tmd press no and 
if it has another option, you just press B again. And um, it is now dumping the WAD on the SD card. So what this app will do is it will create a new folder on the SD card for the WADs to go into, and then it will dump them all in there. Okay, and then it's complete. That's the name and where it's currently saved. So keep that folder in mind. That it should just be on the root and then we can carry on. Okay, so I'm currently using a different Wii U to the one that I tested this out on, so I think a Wii system transfer was actually performed on this, so Wii system transfer is actually in the installed channel titles, and that is where the internet channel is on here as well. Um, so again, uh, same thing as before, press one, go over to WAD file, a, B, it has asked me, do you want to change the output WAD region? This modifies the ticket and or TMD. Press no for that. And then again, it's doing the same thing. It's taking the WAD file and it's putting it on the SD card. And by default, again, there, it puts it into this folder on the root of the SD card. And that is the name that it's given it. And there we go. So now we are done for this part. So now we can go back to the homebrew channel and load up the other app. Okay, so now back onto the homebrew channel, we now go into this app. And what this does is if you have any WADs on your SD card, it will allow you to install or uninstall them. Now because of that previous app that we used, the WADs for those channels will now be on our SD card. So we go into this folder, this folder, and you can see here that we have the two WADs that I downloaded using that app. So just to test it out, we got Wii System Transfer V516. And if we press minus on this and then press A, it'll ask us if we want to uninstall it. I can press OK and it's uninstalled. We can do the same for the Wii Menu Manual. Press A. And there we go. And these are both on the SD card still, so if you wanted to add them back to your Wii U for whatever reason, you can do so. Or even you could take them to an actual Wii um, if you wanted to try that out as well. Uh, but now that is done, and if we now exit back to the system menu, we should see that there is no longer a Wii system transfer channel or Wii menu or Wii manual channel. There we are. Two blank spaces as indicated by the uh, TV static. It is currently nowhere to be seen on this channel. So there you have it. That is how you uninstall any of the system channels really that you don't want on the console anymore. I hope this was helpful. Again, if there's anyone that knows of a much quicker and safer solution to this, uh, then please do let me know. Because again, I am not a modder, I just follow other video tutorials and written guide. I was just playing around with this and I just figured this out and I thought I might as well document in case someone else really needs to do this for whatever reason. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I shall see you again when I next do so.